Hello and welcome to the 22nd of February 2024. Uh, get on loading here at Grant Hawk Art. So this is a mixture of pottery from our students uh, as well as one or two of our pieces. And uh, let's get to see what we've got. Hello. And we've got Emma here helping out. Yay. So <laughs> let's start with a hedgehog. Okay, one little fella here. Right, this one's been done by Frankie. Mm -hmm. She's been practicing hedgehogs. Beautiful. And that's come out really well. And she's, with this one, she's actually not put any glaze at all on the face. And I think that's worked really well. We usually put some um, cinnamon ripple on there, but actually I think I quite like it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a combination of muddy hippo and uh, milk and honey yep. to make the to make the prickles. Brilliant. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, the next thing we've got coming out is a mother oh, um a cow a cow couple okay lady and bull highland cow this is for a customer who buys quite a lot of these from us we've started putting them these couples now rather than try to join them together any other way making a little base for them which we then paint green and i think they're absolutely gorgeous like that mm. yes that's good development yeah then we have another hedgehog Frankie's, as I say, she's been making a few and practicing. This one she put um, cinnamon ripple on the face, and uh, this one's got a bit of a more of a pointy face than the others, but yep. he's still rather cute. Lovely, well done, Frankie. Yeah. Uh, next, we have got let's get these little bits of jewelry out. So, this is we did some porcelain for Christmas with our students, we let them have a little bit of porcelain, and they did some jewelry. So we've still got bits coming through even here in February. We've still got more to come through yet as well. Uh, it's lovely how the porcelain really carries the colour. Um, I suspect that is glut orange on there. And that looks like teal on that one. Yeah. So it's pure colour, isn't it's it? It's pure colour. Yeah. Then we have a pretty cat. So this has been done by one of our Saturday bods. These are rather sweet black with various different colours on him and he just looks so gorgeous. I'd love to have yeah. that on my mantelpiece. Yeah, uh, then we have a chicken. So this one is uh, belongs to another one of our Saturday people then. Uh, she's painted him in slip and then put a clear glaze over the top mm -hmm. just to make him shiny. Lovely. And then we have here another one of Lynn's pieces. Lynn sells these pieces on Etsy. If anybody should be interested in them. This one again, done with slip, but sponged over to give that sort of patterned effect. Holding a little doggy holding a little handbag. Very cute. Yeah. Then we have another one of Lynn's. So this is become known as the slightly infamous fish. She had a little bit of accident. She made him at home, brought him in. We had to repair him. Mm. But we've done a pretty good job with the repair. It's all holding together. It's actually a her. It's called Wanda. I beg her pardon. Yes. Right. So, yes. So Wanda here, yeah, I think it's going to have a light to put a in her. filler in the lips, I think. Yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. a bit of filler in the yeah. lips. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Quite relieved when that one goes home. Just, um, yeah. Yes. Let's just take those supports out. Yeah. Then, right, so these are some of, I think these are some of Hannah's experiments mm -hmm. um, with different combinations. Um, not entirely sure. I think that's uh, combinations with cobalt, I think, but I might be wrong. Okay. Yeah, very good. But, uh, uh, she's not here to advise us. We'll have to... Hannah's always doing little experiments in the background. Again, another another experiment, I think, because there's no name on that. It looks like one of her experimental pots. Yeah. It helps to get the best results for the students. Yeah, try different things out. And again, another one. Mm. Splattering different colours onto it. Yeah. See what happens. Lovely. Good. Then we've got two little elephants, or to be more precise, olephants. Mm. <laughs> It belongs to one of our ladies who actually runs a little company called Oliphant Designs. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple for Sam her. With their daughter, with it, son rather, Sam. Yeah. 
This is a piece belonging to one of our Tuesday students. Oh, that's nice. Just, yeah. Good example of the bear clay, is it? Yeah, and, um, right. bear clay on the outside and just a... Love it. I suspect Scandi, but I wouldn't like to swear to it. Mm -hmm. okay. These pieces are from uh, our throwing sessions. We do these sessions where people can come along for two hours, make a few pots uh, under my guidance, and then they decorate them with slip, coloured slip, and then when they're fired, we put a clear glaze on them, and that then means they can make some with a bit of colour. Yep. Yeah. Great results on those ones. Yeah. Again, That's the bare good. clay coming through there. That's which it. Is a great effect. So again, same same group. Another one of their throwing things. We try to make a variety of different shapes of stuff. So mm -hmm. some of them are little things like this, little. Uh, Posy pots. This is about the second or third thing they make on the wheel. Lovely. Love that green. Okay. Right. Have to go down Ooh. a level. See what we got. And down to the next level. Down to the next level. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. Oh, lots of little bits. <laughs> oh, some more experimentation there. Yes. I think. So yeah, Hannah's been. This is experimenting with um, cobalt bubble glaze. So that's satin white on that side, and then bubbled over the top. It looks quite like almost like an ink stain, actually, there. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, she's used, um, just checking that is the one. Yes, she's used normal white, the, the, the more shiny one. Uh, and again, bubbled copper, copper uh, not copper oxide, sorry, uh, cobalt oxide over the top. Brilliant. Very strong colour cobalt. It's quite difficult to work out what the correct combination is so she's been doing some experiments with uh, trying to get the uh, the right ones uh, so let's um, then move on to Stevens so this is our chap on a Saturday just moved from a Saturday afternoon to a Saturday morning that's meant to be although it's a cat one way it's a bat the other so one hanging bat uh, we've got a couple of cats that seem to have lost some bits there. cat with the moon Moon minus its cat. Another cat. And another one there. Okay. I think those are all Stevens. And now, oh no, and the dragonflies. Dragonflies. Dragonflies yeah. as well. These are all Stevens too. So these are just cut out with a cookie cutter. And then glaze. He's going to hang them up with a fishing line, which is why the holes are so small. I really like this one, this sort of combination of the two. No idea who it belongs to, so I can't see a mark on it. Lovely though. It is, isn't it? That sort of grey and white. Not Hannah, is it? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. That's mm. that one's Hannah, so it could be. She's mm. I think these are little things she's been finding as she's been clearing up and tidying. She's been locating little dishes and pots and things that she can use to try out different techniques and see how the glazes react together. One here. Not entirely again, not entirely sure what combination she's done there. But for those who come to my classes, I'm sure she'll let them know. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay, this one again has been this is clear glaze with cobalt bubble over the top. Lovely. Which again looks really nice. So picking up of that, that, mm -hmm. that clay colour yeah. with the blue. Yeah. And these hearts down here, lots and lots of them, these all belong to Lynn. So we'll just gather them all up. Again, cut out and then glaze in different colours. I think she turns these into fridge magnets and pendants. Lovely use of underglaze on there, really vivid yeah. colours. The orange is especially the orange, good. Yes, lovely, isn't it? A few problems with orange, haven't we, over the years? But yeah. um, that's, using that is, is using underglaze is a good way of doing it. Not all of them are underglazed. I mean, that one's, no. that one's done in teal. So. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And look at that cat! Wow! Okay, <laughs> and there it is. Right, so the cat is a coaster. One of a set, this one. I'm really pleased it stayed dead flat, so she's done a really good job with that. Always tricky to get them to stay flat. The, the trick is not to move it as much. So roll it out, cut it out, and try not to lift it more than you have to. That is excellent. And she's done a really good job there. Just say there's a set of those. I don't know if we've got any more 
down here, we're about to find out. Because it's been a long glazing process, so not all of them have got finished. Them. But she's not in a Mara's not in a rush, and that's important with glazing. Yep. Ooh, wow, sir, lovely. A little treasure trove down here. Yeah. So we've got now. This is those of you who follow me. Otherwise, this is the base of the tortoise that I made in the video. Ah, so there, yes. there he is. This top. Okay, that's going to be a kid's make. Yeah, our next kids group yeah, is going so to be that. So we're going to photograph him later on and use him to mm. advertise our kids class. Have a tortoise. Yes, very good for that. Yeah. These uh, cat dishes, these belong to a lady who's been coming to us for some time, although she's now having to take a bit of a back seat. Um, but yes, so nice and simple again, done with slip. So painted with slip and then fired, clear glazed. Mm. And we get this sort of nice, nice combination. We're getting such good results with slip. We are. Yeah. Um, especially if it's hair dried between layers. It's a real consistent colour. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, some more of Lynn's hearts. Mmm. Yeah. 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 I love that one with the green and blue and the yellow. I think yeah. that's a super. A bubble oh, on it or something. Bubble. Yeah. That. But gives um, it some character. Little soap, little soap dish here of hers as well. Again, all of these will end up on Etsy for sale. Mm -hmm. This one says, "You dirty, you dirty beast." Mm. <laughs> Thankfully not. Swear. Yeah, I was just checking. Was, was I was checking whether they were yeah, not, yeah, what yeah. I should say at that point because yeah. sometimes some of hers are a little risque. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Which of course yeah. you can do if you ever <laughs> feel the urge. Okay, so we got. Let's just pass over that one. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a present for someone. Mm -hmm. Then we've got another load of pieces made in our throwing sessions. So we try to encourage them to make a nice big bowl as part of the, the session. So that's one of them. Again, done in yellow and green. Lovely, bright combination. Another one. This one's done in pink and blue. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Look at those. Yep. Wow. This one's blue on the outside and then just clear glazed on the inside little bit of a compression crack there. Mm -hmm. which, uh, it's quite difficult when you've got people who've never thrown before to get them to put, put enough pressure on to uh, dry the bottom. But apart from that, the rest of the batch are pretty good. So we've got a little bowl here. Right. And another little one here, blue and orange. Nice little flash of colour. Fabulous. This one's a bit more bit more rainbow so we got a bit of red and pink combined on the outside here with a bit nice splash of green and then inside green and pink mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. purple again lovely purple got purple's going really well in the slips with a little swirl of blue inside and then lastly another little green posy pot Okay, and there we are. We've reached the bottom of the kiln. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. And uh, if we can, we'll post up a few more as time goes by. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye.